Magic on the 7.3. It's evening. I have a special guest in the building today, Mr. Joe Torrey, our friend from just over the border, right? St. Louis. Over the border. Is that a border now? Yeah, oh, my I guess God. So. They call it like the border war, don't they? They call it the Kansas border war. Missouri. Well, it's, I guess the show me state war, whatever it is. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I'm from the St. Louis side, the winning side. The winning side? Yeah. Your brother was talking about when he came here. Uh, the don't winning even start side. that. Don't even start that. The winning. No, it, you know, but we all have love. When, if it's something in Missouri, especially if it's not St. Louis, then you know, then I'm rooting for it. Okay, good. Uh, all long about as it's the not Chiefs, because you don't have a football team anymore. Well, I do. I'm a Raider fan, so watch yourself. What? Watch yourselves. Yeah, if I would have known that, yourselves. I would have let you in the building. Watch no, yourselves. No Raider. Raider Nation, baby. They, no everybody way. know it. They know it. No, we stay with the chop they, over they here. They know it. They know it. But mm-hmm. see, last time, when I, every time I come, when I kick off the season, the Chiefs do good. They do. They come like around in August or, or first time they start their first football game, September or something like that, and they do good. Yeah. But, you know, so I, I might have to stop coming because I need the Raiders to do good. Because at that last game that we had now, I'm not a football fan, but I do remember, like, mm-hmm. we were go- we were, it was going so well, and then at the end we kind of, like, I threw know. it away. I know, I know. I think we got cocky. Yeah, well, you know, it happens. You know what I'm saying? Hey, everybody wearing a red on hey. red on Friday. Hey, this year we're go- well. I guess 2018 we're going to the Super Bowl. I'm you think so? Call it right now. Y'all got to get past the Raiders though. We will get. We got past the wee Raiders wee the three wee times wee that we played wee them, wee didn't we? Wee wee. Okay, you. Wee wee. I'm just. I'm just okay. stating facts. No alternative facts okay, over well, here. Well, okay, well, I'm not stating. I'm, I'm in denial. <laughs> hey, we keep it real on Magic 107.3. So, you're going to be at the Improv this weekend. That's right. And you're no stranger to the Improv. You have a lot of fans that come out and see you, especially the Q-Dogs. Shout out to all the That's Q-Dogs right. that come and see you. All my frat brothers. All yes. my, and, and my Lincoln Knights. I have a lot of people I went to school yes. with. L-U. This area, L-U. And from UMKC area. I was a kangaroo. There, there you go. Yeah, see? Hop, see? I used to come up and hop, hop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, UMKC's in the house. But so anyone who's never been to one of your shows, what can they expect? Now I um, know what I can expect. You're real quick up on that stage. I yeah. wouldn't want to mess with you. I mean, yeah, I mean they can expect. I mean, just real life stuff. I mean, I, I'm 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 a, I'm a grown. I'm a official adult right now. So you, you're going to hear a lot of stuff. I, I mean, see the salt as, and pepper in your salt beer. Pepper. That's different. I know, right? I, I I'm, see you. I'm doing something for this role. I yeah. finally. Grow, I finally grow a beard and it's gray. And it's uh-huh. like, are you serious? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, my life, the I ladies grow like, like the salt and pepper. That means you're seasoned. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I've been hearing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm looking like a little seasoned something. <laughs> but, uh, but you know, it, it's chocolate it's, drop. It's, see, there you go. Seasoned. Somebody <laughs> called me that too. Where was I? In Texas Nothing last wrong year. with being chocolate. You little chocolate drop. I'm like, you, you're so cute. I'm like, am I a puppy? But There's I guess. Nothing wrong. That. I know. I was just, you know, I took it. it. I took marinate. it. I tell you, I'm, I, you see, I'm rolling with it. I'm rolling see? with it. But see, when you see this character I'm gonna play with this beard, you might not like me. So I'm about to play a pretty crazy character. Can you talk like. any more about it, or is this like um, secret? He's, he was a serial rapist. He's dead now. Okay. Yeah. So, so that you know that from that point on, from that point of view, that you know that everybody, ooh. ooh. Yeah, so he was he can killed him too. So he was. So is this role for? Is this like a movie, a TV show, a it's scripted a movie. series? It's okay, a movie, so movie. Uh, I'm tiptoeing around it because I don't know if you can talk much about it. But when can we expect it? Um, well, we haven't shot it yet. Probably trying to shoot it. Um, and like because we need to shoot it in like August, September, October that in that area. Okay. So it probably won't be out to next year. Okay, yeah. so then are you, like, trying to grow the beard really big? Because you started early now. No, no, well, no, I just want to see if I can grow it because the guy ages. So it takes place over, when they okay. caught him, he was 51 years old. Okay. And without this, I don't look 51. I don't okay. look nowhere near it. So I have to kind of age myself, see where I'm going with the process. Ooh, and that's so, hard because yeah. black don't crack. Yeah, I, very yeah. young. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm like, hey, so I got you know, but But he was in his 40s when it was happening. So Okay, so, so is this uh, big screen? Is it TV? Is it Netflix? Um, you know what? Um, we wanted to go big screen, but if if it's better, like on um, you know, on television or Netflix or something like that, whatever, whatever gives it that that balance, because it's such a, you know, complicated issue, you yeah. know, dealing with you know rape and serial rapists. Yeah. So it's kind of like how you want to do it. You, you want to do it more like the OJ story, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or you want to do it like an American Crime Story ish, or you want to make it like one big special, like you know, because uh, uh, this guy was pretty. He was pretty evil. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you would never know it. He was the nicest guy. Mm, looks can be so. deceiving. I know, right? Yeah. So yeah, um, you're going to be at the Improv. I always try and remember the times this weekend. Um, tonight, so, one show. I think eight it's and 10.30. Is it 8 tonight? 
Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock tonight and eight Friday. Eight and ten thirty. Friday seven and ten. Seven and <laughs> no. Well, I'm sorry. Sun Saturday is seven o'clock. I think seven o'clock. Seven and ten, and then Sunday. I know that for sure. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. Improvkc.com to get the tickets. So, um, do you like social media? Do I saw you yeah, do yeah. Twitter? I'm up there. I'm on, I'm on uh, Facebook. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. That's it. That's I can't do that now. Okay. I don't so, have the time. Yeah. It's you all the same make people. Some time. It's all the same people. That's true. You know what I'm saying so I can tweet our Instagram and our Facebook. I can't do the Snapchat and what else is there? Insta Snap. I call it Insta Snap. Insta Snap. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you stay up on what our president is doing? Because today he was making headlines again, fighting with big old Snoop Dogg. I know, right? You better leave Snoop alone. What do you think about that situation? For the people who don't know, Snoop Dogg, he made a video Mm -hmm. and it showed uh, Donald Trump in like a clown get up and then snoop's holding a gun to donald trump's head now i don't know if he actually kills him in this music video but i guess donald trump didn't like it and he actually tweeted snoop so (laughs) what do you think about this situation i think he's a little too personal to 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 all these issues Mm -hmm. i mean as a president it's cool to reach the people but now you you, you're kind of you know would you say you're kind of um He's kind of weakening his, his power and his tweet, and mm-hmm. it's just he's overdoing it. I mean, I, I get it. He's good news, and he's, you know, people do it, but every day, I mean, he's an entertainer. <laughs> you can't be so personal, man. You can't let, you know, dude, you got to be classy about it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, to me, it's, you know, he's just bringing himself down. He's devaluing the whole position of the office mm-hmm. to me. When he and it that. seems like he can't take a joke either, because, wow. I mean, to be in that position, you, you have gotta, to be strong, yeah. powerful. I can't, I, like, Presidents that are could, before could you him. imagine if you know if if what would happen if if people would put up a bunch of clown faces you know like they did Obama you mm-hmm. know hanging him a bunch of pictures he never of, of stuff it. where you know where he was people had him hanging in his front yard mm-hmm. and they was beating him and and he had a lot of old, you know Obama you know they had did a lot of stuff to Obama mm-hmm. puppets and dolls and yes he, he never even addressed it you yeah. know because because for what I'm yeah. like, it takes a lot of energy. To do that, so you know, for uh, you know, for him to address every little issue like that, man, pay attention to the country, man. Absolutely, to what's we going have some on. Things going yeah, on right we now. Yeah, things going on. You worry about Snoop Dogg and you in a video. Who cares? Yeah, it's just good for Snoop Dogg. He's getting more publicity. There, there you go. His his followers are up. Absolutely. <laughs> so talking about like President Trump and he's not able to like take a joke, and I know that people are very sensitive nowadays. Right. Does that make it harder for you um, as a comedian and just like your show and? Because I know that you're raw when you go up there. Yeah. Do people get too sensitive sometimes? And you're just like, man, like this is making it hard. For well, you, you, it's it's a fine it. line now. But now he's a president, so you got to kind of watch out what you say. Mm-hmm. You, know, you can't say you can't threaten him now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Well, I'm just saying, like in general, with your comedy, do you have to like tiptoe around certain subjects or certain subjects that it, it you can talk on, it about? Back depends in- on where you are, your audience. If you know, most black people, if you have a black, you know, predominantly to that black audience then you know certain things you talk about because you get it right away mm-hmm. but some white people or asian people and then people may not get it in that in that context mm-hmm. so i do not want to come off as a racist mm-hmm. or a bigot yeah. i'd rather come off as just an informant yeah you know so yeah so you have to be intelligent on on and finding the right ways because everybody talk about the same stuff so i try to find a different perspective on you know my angle on trump and, and my point of view from him Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, but you still have to respect the fact that he is the leader, mm-hmm. he is the president, and and you have to remember that because you can't get yourself in trouble. Absolutely. Yeah, because I, you know, I mean, I put out films, I produce, I do a lot of stuff, and I get a lot of checks from people that you know that are not sitting in my audience. Mm-hmm. So the films I'm talking about, and the theaters I'm going to, and the people I need to distribute through, mm-hmm. you know, they're Trump friends, and they can shut you down. So watch yeah. your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't own too many radio stations, television networks. Or literary outlets. <laughs> yeah. And does that also uh, make it hard for, like, do you ever just want to, you know, pop off on social media and say whatever you want to say? Do you find eh. yourself restricting yourself to what you can say? Well, to me, post? you can't win on social media So if you pop off like this. Too many trolls and too many people that, that, that that's their life. Mm-hmm. So if I if I have something to say, it's going to be positive. You know, if I put something out there, if I don't have nothing in, in a funny or a you know, constructive way of putting it, then I won't say it because mm-hmm. it's, you know, people take it too far. You know, I, I, I commented on, on something one time and, oh, my God, it started to, you know, because it was just woman, They'll come was getting, for you. woman was getting beat and drug, and, and, but it was in another country. 
Mm-hmm. And I think it was your husband was doing something, and mm-hmm. I was like, I don't know what she did. And people were like, well, I don't mean what she did. It don't make a difference anyway. I'm saying, well, in some other country, if you cheat and do something because the whole time we're watching it, that's what they do. So maybe she shouldn't have got married if she was going to cheat. You don't see the whole point. This woman getting beat. And they went in on me. We went all the way back to my movies. I'm like, yo. Ooh. I just responding on a Saturday morning. Just trying to put out there, like, you know, because they will dig sides. back in those tweets. Yeah. They'll go back to like, oh, nine. Oh, nine. And dude, he's just talking about, yeah, you, you, dude, I'm about to come out like this. And he ain't getting <laughs> this movie. And, I, and they start relating stuff. And I said, mm-hmm. goodbye. Yeah. You know, and I said, whatever, dude, I can, I can meet you in Oakland. But then it comes down to catch me you know, outside. Catch me outside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like, but that, all that energy. And, for how, what? and how does it make you look going after like a keyboard gangster living in their mom's like, basement? Exactly. Right? Having to change their Tupac clothes in a week. Do. Yeah. He was, <laughs> but when you go, but I just go before you, you know, you go in on somebody. I just go back and research their page, and I say, okay, well, this person never says anything positive. They're always looking for a fight. Absolutely. So if you don't know that before, you may be, just, yeah, you just made this dude's day or this person's day, because mm-hmm. that's what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're looking for something to get on to every day. That's why Trump is in office, because you know Hillary would have been a lot more boring. You couldn't say nothing about her. The papers wouldn't have been up. You'd have been embarrassed to really talk about somebody's grandmama. Every day, yeah. This but is a, Trump, it's definitely entertaining, that, but it's also yeah. It's it's but but that's why I said when it, when I when he's in office, I said people people are gonna get a lot out of this press that is because they like a train wreck. They too. like a train wreck, so you know. Yeah. So since you're from St. Louis and we're here in Kansas City, mm-hmm. we're big about our barbecue. Oh man, I think I'm not getting some gates today. Well, I was about to say, do what? you think that St. Louis barbecue is better than Kansas City barbecue? I gotta ask. Well, you know, um, you, well, put it like this: you, you never go anywhere and you see, you know, St. Louis. Or Kansas City ribs on the menu. You see St. Louis ribs, right? On the, on the menu, right? You see St. Louis ribs all over the world. You can see St. Louis ribs. Now, are there Kansas City ribs on the menu? No. I don't know. St. Louis agree style ribs? That. Go anywhere and you'll see St. Louis style ribs. Yes. This per, per, and, and pretty much on every or maybe menu. Maybe it's just me that I just block it out and like, no St. Louis ribs over here. But, but Keep Kansas it KC. City. Missouri made good ribs, period. Okay. And Gates, Ollie Gates and all them, a friend of mine, went to Lake University, all that. So I always make sure I get a plata. I get a plata. Lake University, yeah. The Blue Tigers, baby, down in Jeff City. I always get a platter when I, when I come here. So I'm assuming Brother KT, he's going to slide through with Brother the Brother KT, Gates that's play. the man. Brother KT, Shout come out to through. Brother KT. Yes, sir. Hold <laughs> Kansas, he holds Kansas City down. He does. Yes, he's it, a good guy. Yeah, he is. He is. In well, prayer and everything else. So. Oh, yes. He will pray Chief for you fan. on the drop of a dime. He is, he, is a, he is a, should I say, a bona fide Kansas City. Yes, he is. And Love everyone knows him. Yeah, that's good. KT, Kevin? Oh, KT. I didn't mean to put Wait, his name Kevin? all the way out Met there. my nephew. My nephew up here playing soccer. UMKC, so you know. Oh he, yeah. He said he'd been to church with me and everything. I'm like, already? Oh, what's your What's your um, nephew's name? Give uh, him a Eric, shout out. Eric McWoods, Emac, over at a UMKC, over there with we you know soccer team. I think it's his second year. Okay. He, well, he broke him. some records. He didn't turn some heads. He didn't done some things. Okay. Yeah. So. I see him. I see him. Well, I I think I don't know if I met him. Emac. Yeah. Maybe. I call him Emac. I don't know. He's, but... he's, he's a good basketball player too, but he's up here on soccer scholarship. Okay. Black dude from the hood, St. Wow. Louis, on a soccer, soccer. scholarship. Wow. Can you believe that? Good for him. Well, this weekend, everyone can come out and see you. Yes. Tonight, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm not going to say the times. They can just go on the website <laughs> yeah, and exactly. figure it out because I always mess it up. Sorry. Um, follow you on your social media. Right. Go ahead and tell them where they can follow you. Follow me on, on Instagram, Joe Tory. You'll see Big J. See me right there. You, 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 you'll see what's up. And, um, and then uh, Facebook. And I'm on both Facebooks. I got a fan page and a regular page. And tweet me. Tweet them. Slide in them mm. DMs. Is that yeah, DMs? <laughs> DMs come everywhere, right? Exactly. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. We'll come see you tonight at the Improv. I hope so. All right. This is Magic 7.3.